guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I am going to be doing another extreme challenge and today's challenge is going to be to recreate some of my most popular room decor DIYs but in the smallest version possible. I've done all of these room decor DIYs on my main channel. In case you guys didn't know, I do have a main channel and I do like all sorts of DIYs there. So I'll leave a link for the videos down below in case you wanna see the actual videos. But today I'm going to be recreating them all in miniature version. I'm gonna try to make them as small as possible and like try to make them identical. But before we begin, I want to give out a huge shout out to this week's notification squad. Thank you so much for your comments. And if you aren't part of the notification squad already, all you have to do is turn on your post notifications and leave me a comment down below with the hashtag notification squad to be featured in my next video. With that all being said, let's jump right into today's video. Alrighty guys, so for the very first mini DIY, I'm going to be making this pillow that you see on the right and this was made over two years ago. I cannot believe it's been two years, but I actually made this in my very first room decor video that I ever did on YouTube. So yeah. Anyway, what I'm doing is I have two pieces of fabric and I'm going to trace out a square. Then I'm going to attach a pearl pin so that the fabric doesn't like move around. And now I'm going to sew this together. You do want to leave a little bit of an opening so that you can flip the pillowcase inside out. And yeah, I'm just sewing this together. I'm doing like a very basic stitch. I don't know what the exact name is. And once that's all done, you can flip the pillowcase inside out. Now I'm going to fill the pillow with some pillow stuffing. You could also use like a cotton ball that you use to remove your nail polish because this is really small and the stuffing doesn't really matter for this pillow. Uh, but I just ended up using pillow stuffing anyway. Then I'm going to close down the opening using some hot glue and now we can add in the face. Originally, I did make the face using felt, but because this is so small, I ended up using paint instead because it was much easier. Ta-da! Here is the mini pillow all completed. Next up, I'm going to be making a mini pineapple planter. So I have made like a pineapple money bank and I've also made like a cat planter and you can see that next to it there's like this um, pineapple lip balm. So I kind of ended up combining all of these ideas together and I decided to make a mini pineapple planter. So what I did is I have this mini planter that I got from Michaels and I'm going to cover it using some air dry clay and I'm basically shaping it into a pineapple. Then I let it air dry completely and now I'm going to paint it using some yellow acrylic paint. To give the pineapple some detail, I went in with a darker shade of yellow and I made these V shapes. And the final thing of course is to add in the face, so I made a smiley face and there is the completed mini pineapple planter. For the next DIY, I'm going to be recreating these mason jars that you guys may recognize from my intros. Now because I wasn't able to find like a mini mason jar, I had to improvise. So I ended up taking a wide straw, I cut a piece of that, and then on a piece of parchment paper, I'm spreading out some hot glue, and I'm going to put the straw into the glue so that it would kind of turn into a container. So I let the glue dry, and then I'm going to peel it off and cut off any extra glue using my pair of scissors.
We kind of have our mason jar here, but not really. I have this piece of purple paper and I'm going to draw on a face. Now you totally can paint the straw and like add in the face. That's completely fine. I just decided to do it this way. To make the label kind of shiny, I took some clear tape and I'm going to put that on top. And now I'm going to pop that onto the container. And here is the completed DIY. I think it turned out really cute. I ended up putting these mini pencils inside and I just think this is so adorable. The final DIY that I'm going to be recreating is this trinket dish and this is really nice for like jewelry, rings and things like that. What I'm going to do is roll out some air dry clay. Then I took a cookie cutter and I'm going to cut out a circle. Now you're going to need a cookie cutter that is slightly smaller and I am going to shape this into a bowl. Another great way to do this would probably be to use a marble. I didn't have a marble so I ended up doing it this way. Once you're happy with the shape, you want to let it air dry. I would say it took about like 30 minutes because it's so small. To kind of fix off the edges of the trinket dish, I went in with a nail buffer and I kind of buffed it out. I'm now going in with some acrylic paint and I'm basically replicating the same exact design. I first went in with a turquoise color, painted the entire dish. Then I took a gold nail polish and I'm going to first paint the rims of the bowl and then I'm going to make a heart. There is the completed bowl and that is it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below which DIY was your favorite. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.